Hey, Mercy Kids. Uh, today's beatitude is very fun because did you hear I just called you Mercy Kids? And today's beatitude is about mercy, right? Uh, mercy is the name of our church. We're called Mercy Vineyard Church. That's the group of people who gather. And today's beatitude, the thing, right? Jesus says, if you live in my kingdom, here's how life works. And he says this is true in his kingdom, that you are blessed if you are merciful, if you are full of mercy, okay? And so today we're going to talk about that word. What is Jesus asking us to be? What is what is Jesus saying? Oh, you want some mercy in your life? Be merciful. All right, we're going to watch a holy moly. Keep your eyes open for the person who looks like they are showing mercy. Okay, I'll tell you, mercy is a good thing. Look for, look for in the story. Who's doing the good thing, the right thing? What is that? I'm going to tell you, that's what mercy looks like. You tell me. Watch and tell me what, what does mercy look like and sound like and feel like. All right, let's watch together. Ah! 
Did you see it? Did you see some mercy in this movie? For me, the part I think that, that makes the most sense, that describes mercy the best, is when the man is hurt in the woods, right? And, and this other man, he's, he's the Samaritan, the, the neighbor that nobody liked. Okay, remember this, this lie of racism that says because some people look different or have different backgrounds that, that they're better than others? Oof, remember that? We talked about it this summer. This is what that's happening in the story. People thought this Samaritan guy with the big old beard, oh, you're different? You're no good. We don't want to be part of you. And remember, he built up the wall. His neighbor built up the wall. And so the part in the story that, that, that's merciful is when the neighbor, the Samaritan, goes, oh, do I want to help him? I remember, I remember he tried to, he tried to get rid of me. He tried to build a wall between us. He, he didn't want anything to do with me. Now that... That's where mercy comes in. Mercy helps you make a choice, either to get revenge or to not get revenge. You can do it the revenge way. You can do it the mercy way, okay? And so the man, uh, revenge would have been like, you hated me, I'll hate you right back. You know that feeling? You ever do that? It's easy. It's kind of easy sometimes to be like, hey, you were mean to me, I'll be mean back to you. Mercy, mercy says, hey, ooh, you were mean to me, but you need help right now, and so I'm going to choose to help you anyway. Okay, and this is what I love about the Bible. We don't have to be able to do that just because we're super nice people or strong or smart people. We don't, we don't have to be good at doing this. The Bible says that we can be merciful because Jesus is merciful to us. So I wonder if this Samaritan man with the beard knew that. If he knew how much Jesus had been kind to him. If he knew how much God loved him. How much God forgave him. How much God chose not to get revenge. <laughs> and so I think this man, this man uh, believed, he believed that, that he, could, he could show mercy to others because, because he knew that he needs mercy too. And so in God's kingdom, I think this is what these Beatitudes are about. God's kingdom says, hey, remember, kiddos, you can have mercy. I have a lot of mercy for you. So come and get it. Right? When you screw up and you make mistakes and you hurt people, I forgive you. I still keep on loving you. So, so when other people do that, you can, help, you can ask me for help. And I'll help you love them and choose mercy and not revenge. All right, I want you to think. Where, where is it easy this week? Let's plan ahead. Where is it easy to want revenge? Okay, can you think? 
maybe maybe there's someone in your class. Maybe there's a family member who kind of gets under your skin and does things that you don't really like. And and usually when they do it, you choose revenge. You choose to right. They they maybe they uh, maybe they take something of yours and you take something of theirs. Maybe right. Like can you can you imagine a scenario something that might happen this week? Okay. I want you to think, and I'm going to ask Holy Spirit to help you pay attention this week, and here's what I'll pray. Holy Spirit, will you help us one time this week? When we have the chance to get revenge, will you help us to choose mercy? Will you help us to choose kindness? Right? And we still can say, oh, that was wrong. And we can choose mercy. Help us to do it this week. Help us one time. All right, you guys, if something happens this week, tell me about it. Where you where you get the chance and you say, no, I'm not going to choose revenge today. I'm going to choose mercy. Let me know. Okay, I'm praying that you can do that one time this week, that Jesus will help you choose mercy. All right, I love you. I will see you next time. Uh, we are going, we are going sledding real soon, all right, on the 27th. We'll do more sledding and skating. So, you know, ask mom and dad if you can go because I'll be there and it'll be awesome. All right. Bye, friends.